Welcome to Architectural Drafting and Design lesson. If you like this kind of content, this lesson is for you. Subscribe and hit the bell in order you to receive the free video tutorials. Introductions of this book in 1984, the top uh, 125 firms in the commercial industry, institutional, the building construction industry had total fees of about 3.5 billion. This group includes design, contract, AE, and consulting engineering firm that use doctors and designer to make work in drawings as part of the service rendered for a fee. The consider the thousand of smaller firm companies with engineering department and many contractors that erect buildings and it soon becomes obvious that there are many drafters and designers employed in the building construction industry. Employment opportunities are always open to those who have necessary drafting skills, professions, and can make quality drawings. The best way to describe what Drafter is to do through definition. The following is taken from U.S. Department of Labor Dictionary and Occupational Titles from Drafter, prefer clear, complete, and accurate working plans and detailed drawing from rough, rough, or uh, rather, or detailed sketches, or more for engineering and manufacturing purposes. According to specified dimensions, make final sketch of purpose drawings, sketching, dimension of parts, materials to be used, relations of one another, and relation various part to the whole structure of project makes any adjustments or changes necessary or desired. Ink and lines and letters on pencil drawings as required. Exercises manual skill and manipulations of triangles, a T-square and other drafting tools. Draw chart for presentation and statistical data. Drawing finishes designed from sketches. Utilize knowledge of various machines, engineering as practices, mathematics, building materials, and other physical science to complete drawing. Clarifications are made according to type of drafting as drafter, architectural, drafter, electrical. While this defines all aspects of drafting, whether in building constructions or in machine and equipment design, there are certain phases that clearly uh, describe drafters work in building construction drafting. Prefers clear, complete, and accurate drawing plans. Prefer details, drawings from rough or detailed sketches. Check dimensions of parts and materials. Makes adjustments and changes. Ink and lines and text uh, letters. Exercises manual skills in manipulations of drafting tools. Utilize knowledge of engineering practice, building materials to complete drawings. Book is written to provide the necessary information required to develop proficiency in drafting. Part 1 covers drafting basis. Chapter 1 explains the various drafting tools. Chapter 2 covers drafting skills. And Chapter 3 describes the different types of drafting mediums used. The previous quoted definition state that clarifications are made according to the type of drafter and mentioned too although they are more drafter ar architectural performs duties of drafter by drawing artistic architectural and structural features of any class of building and like structures the line they uh, design rather and details using drawing instrument confirms the compliance with building codes may specialize in planning architectural details according to the structural materials used as drafter tiles and marble drafter structural performs the duties of the structure a uh, drafter rather by uh, drawing plans of structures employing structural reinforcement steel concrete masonry wood and other structural materials produce plans and details of foundations building frames floor and rope framing and other structural elements 
Part 2 and Part 3 of the bo of this book address architectural and engineering drafting and uh, drawing development and explain drafting as practice in professional offices. The material is presented in sufficient detail to be the value to the entry level drafter and at the same time serve as a value reference and experience drafters and designers. At the same time serve as a value reference and experience drafters and designers. Uh, the work performed by designer is not quite as simply defined as that of drafters. First of all, because architectural designers have completely different responsibility from engineering designers. An architectural designer is generally a senior professional explain uh, professional experience rather in building this sign concept, whereas the engineering designer is usually senior, non-professional working under the direction of an engineer and usually in charge in the drafter on the project. A local advancement of the profession, experienced engineering drafter is to the position of engineering designers. What a person called drafter or designer defend, depends rather to some extent upon the policy and size of the A slash E firm in small architectural offices where the owner is the principal of the firm's designers are considered as advanced drafter. Designers are usually required and often expected to perform calculations, select materials and equipments, write specifications and make estimates for drafter and designers. It is not just necessarily the end of the road. It is possible for the proficient person who has adequate relevant experience to seek the status and rewards of the professional. The most state persons and qualified person to substitute the required number of years of experience in lieu and for form informal rather education to quality for a written examinations for licensure as an architect or engineers. Opportunity for the aspiring drafter and designers are manifold. For drafters and designers to realize their fondest goal and attaining appropriate status and reaping relevant rewards, they must become truly uh, familiar with all aspects of building construction, drafter, drafting rather, and design the entry level drafter must know what tools and drawing mediums are available, learn how to use them to best advantage, and develop a high degree of proficiency. With experience, the drafters will become more involved in the process of developing drawings and, more, and must rather become familiar with the different kinds of drawing required for the various phases of the drawing develop. A good drawing is one of the clear and sharp line work. Well selected sections and appropriate details, uh, legible and accurate dimensioning, no nonsensible, nonsen, rather non essential lettering, and is complete yet simple. A good drawing is one that contains all essential informations and not more. When too much is done, time is wasted and time is money. When too little show, extensive and expensive legal situations may arise during the construction phase. The ability to draw and read drawings is fundamental to the building construction industry. Since construction documents consist of drawing and specification, the author has included a section on specification. It is necessary to understand the relationship between the drawings and specification, the functions of specification and what information is to be included on the drawings or written in specification. The intent of this book is to provide in one volume all the information necessary for making quality drawing.